Lori cranes in Singapore will soon have to be installed with a digital system that prevents operators from getting into danger. It's all part of efforts by six public agencies in Singapore to make public transport and housing construction sites safer. Cheryl Goh has this report. For those working at this construction site last November, a regular workday took a tragic twist when a crane gave way and collapsed killing one worker and injuring another. As the fatal crane accident at Novena worksite in 2019 has reminded us, crane-related DOs can have catastrophic consequences. First, we must put in effort to strive for zero crane-related DOs. There were a total of eight such dangerous occurrences or DO crane-related incidents in 2019 down from 21 in 2009. But any accident is still one too many. To do more, six agencies, including the HDB and LTA, have committed to enhancing the safety of crane operations. From June this year, all contractors who submit tenders to these agencies will have to comply with specific safety requirements, which includes installing this stability control system. According to the Singapore Contractors Association, the system will be fixed in all newer lorry crane models. Investigations show that the main cause of over half of truck-mounted crane-related accidents are due to outriggers, which are these support stands that you see here, not being deployed in the right way. Now, the stability control system is able to detect the exact position of the outriggers, so if the crane operator moves beyond the stipulated safe zone, the system will stop the crane from doing so. They actually can help the operator to monitor their stability, while the operator can actually focus more on their lifting operation instead of worry the cranes will topple. To reduce the risks further, the Manpower Ministry has also developed guidelines on lorry crane safety and guidance on heavy lifting equipment. It will also pilot a new safe lifting course for operators.